Yeah, what we do is a workshop on tracking EU negotiations in real time. So we take a proposal which has been made by the Commission to the Council and to the European Parliament and we follow the progress of that negotiation in real time with the original documents for a period of about four or five months. Well, in practice what it means is that at the beginning of the year I offer students a list of about seven or eight proposals that are actually on the table and under negotiation. And the students track these uh, negotiations for a period of four or five months and we learn to write uh, two or three key documents. One is a fact sheet and the other is a background note. And these are the kind of documents that people use in, in the workplace. MEPs use them, ambassadors use them, directors of civil society organisations use them. I mean, it looks a little bit uh, like this. This is a fact sheet, this is a background note. It's very short and this is what professionals look for. So I coach the students to produce these kinds of documents in a subject that they have chosen themselves from the list of seven or eight that I offer at the beginning of the year. For example, last year we looked at uh, seven or eight issues, uh, usually grouped into two or three headings, like there's the area of justice and home affairs and security, there are questions about the internal market and the digital single market, and there are also lots of questions about climate and environment. So concretely, we looked at things like terrorist content online, we looked at copyright reform, we looked at CO2 emissions in cars, we looked at uh, the proposal on sustainable finance, we looked at another text on the quality of drinking water, and we also started towards the end of the year on the EU climate law. So I think looking forward to next year, I think that the list will be uh, very heavily dominated by uh, the European Green Agenda and by the concrete legislative proposals that come from that. Uh, and also we'll have quite a few files in the field of environment and perhaps some or two also to deal with the uh, economic recovery post-Covid. That's what next year looks like.